Okay, these five ingredients do not really match together at all. So when I first saw these egg noodles, I was like, what do I do with a can of pumpkin cookies and egg noodles and chocolate and breadcrumbs? But the reality is noodles are made up of three simple ingredients, eggs, flour, and water. So I'm gonna make a sweet pasta dish. Let's get cooking this pasta. I have half water and I'm gonna fill the pot up halfway again with some milk. This milk is gonna add some fattiness to our noodles. All right, so now that our pasta is cooking, we're going to make a crumble to put on top of our pasta. So we have our breadcrumbs. I'm gonna add a little bit in, add some brown sugar, just a little bit. And then I also have some crystallized ginger, which I love because it's gonna clear your palate in between each bite of that pasta so it doesn't get overwhelmed with sweetness or any other odd flavors you may taste. I'm going to add some of my dark chocolate that came in the box. And now I'm gonna add the remaining amount of these Biscoff cookies. I no lie have ate this entire bag. All right, I cannot be the only person who remembers dessert hummus, bang a thing. We're making a pumpkin chocolate hummus. And you may be thinking, why the are you making hummus and pasta? We use chickpeas, they are a great emulsifier and they don't have that much impact of flavor on your dish. I'm gonna add some of that pumpkin that came into my box. A little pinch of salt, some cinnamon, adding some maple syrup to bring things together. We're almost ready to plate things up. We have all our components ready. So I'm gonna put my noodles into a large bowl, toss them with a little bit of cloves, a few teaspoons of butter as well. Okay, now it's time to plate this dish up. I have my pumpkin chocolate hummus. I'm gonna put it right in the center of my plate and I'm gonna just spread it out. I'm gonna add our pasta noodles right in the center. And then I'm going to add my crumble. Add some mint leaves right on top. You know, I'm pretty pleased with what I made out of those five random ingredients. But you know, we made a delicious dessert pasta that you can give a try at home, but I wanna encourage you to get into your pantry, into your fridge, and check out what you have laying around. You probably can make something very, very cool, like I did. All right, let's taste this pasta dish. Mmm, that hummus is really good, and a little crumble on top. It's giving me everything I need. Be sure to follow me at Chef Will Coleman on Instagram. And thank you, Tastemate, and welcome to Five Little Things.